Most fetching, was she not? I hadn't noticed. That is because you are not a Frenchman. You are the most American Frenchman I have ever known. I am a lover of liberty, mon ami. Lafayette, you know, he's new, he's young. So there's a bit more of a kind of uh, eagerness. He's a little bit more of a risk taker. A proper knight must learn to curb his passions. Without passion, monsieur. A man cannot fight. He's a modern day man. I mean, uh, he brings a little bit of levity to the situation, but for all his joviality, he also has lived through two wars that have probably taught him in his position more than anybody could have even in a few hundred years. Give yourself up, monsieur. My next shot will not be a warning. This lady requires my attention. Your attention is required elsewhere. I assure you, mademoiselle, that only the vow of fidelity prevents me from accepting your invitation. Oh, Marquis, you mustn't leave now. Unfortunately, my lady, my duty compels me elsewhere. We have to find a way out of here quickly. I have just a thing, monsieur. If one of you ladies would reach into my pocket. Give it here, love. Is it sufficient, monsieur? <laughs> More than sufficient, I'd say. Upstairs, then, if you please. Look, monsieur. God did not save this queen. We seize the ship in the name of liberty. A knight you are not, monsieur. But are you a turncoat or a patriot? What would you have me be, Marquis? I believe you have reason for what you do. Two revolutions have taught Lafayette that there are dangers on both sides. And I will not forget this, Marquis. See that you do not, monsieur. Should you threaten the cause of liberty, you can count on Lafayette to be your sworn enemy. Adieu, monsieur. Until we meet again.